let us discuss this example so in this example we have to find radius of convergence of given complex reads so in previous video we have seen already what is radius of convergence and how to find so there are two methods to find first is ratio test and the second one is root test okay so for both tests we need to have an first so let us write an first here here a n is equal to n means multiple of that bracket z minus z not raised to n so here we have n is equal to 1 upon n raised to n so this problem can be solved either by ratio test or root test but see here in n n has power n getting so it has nth power so it is better to go for root test so by root test by root test its value will be r is equal to limit n tends to infinity mod 1 upon nth root of a n okay so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity mod 1 upon nth root of n what is our n 1 upon n raised to n so 1 upon n raised to n so let us solve it further so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity right so what will happen the power n and root n will get cancelled to each other so that means we will have there is no need of mod 1 upon 1 by n we will have get it so see all terms are positive no need of mod i have removed it and here nth root of 1 is 1 and nth root of n raised to n is n only but see that n is in denominator of denominator we can shift it to the numerator so it will be limit n tends to infinity so n we will have if you apply the limit it will goes to infinity so th therefore it goes to infinity so what is the radius of convergence radius of convergence is yes radius of convergence is infinity that means this series is convergent everywhere in a complex plane okay so this is its radius of convergence you can make a screenshot of it after that we will go for next example let us discuss this second example so in second example let us write a n first n means multiple of that z minus z not raised to n so here multiple is 1 upon 3 raised to n plus 1 so I'm going to use ratio test to find its radius of convergence for that we need to have a n plus 1 also let us write a n plus 1 that means we have to replace n by n plus 1 so 3 raised to n plus 1 plus 1 that means n plus 2 so let us use ratio test so therefore by ratio test by ratio test see what will you get by ratio test let me write here so r is equal to limit n tends to infinity mod a n upon a n plus 1 this is our ratio test let us put the values now what is value of a n 1 upon 3 raised to n plus 1 and n plus 1 is 1 upon 3 raised to n plus 2 so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 upon 3 raised to n plus 1 and 1 upon 3 raised to n plus 2 see this 3 raised to n plus 2 is in denominator of denominator so it will shift to the numerator so it will be limit n tends to infinity 3 raised to n plus 2 upon 3 raised to n plus 1 get it so actually i removed mod it is not required here since uh, yes all terms are positive so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity so 3 raised to n plus 2 we can write in this way 3 raised to n plus 1 into 3 and in denominator we have 3 raised to n plus 1 so that 3 raised to n plus 1 n plus 1 will get cancelled so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity 3 if you apply the limit to a constant you will have the same 3 so what is radius of convergence of this series is simply 3 okay make a screenshot of it then we'll stop thank you bye bye